Hi, welcome to this free drum lesson. In this lesson, we'll be looking at uh, a lick that I like to use a lot, as well as many other great, great drummers. Um, it's called the uh, the Herta, and it's a hybrid rudiment. Um, it's not actually an official rudiment, but it's used by so many drummers that it's been given its own name. Another name you might hear it being called is the Cobham rudiment, because Billy Cobham used to play it loads and loads. But I've heard many, many great drummers play it um, and use it, such as Vinnie Colliuta, Dave Weckl, uh, Carter Beaufort used it um, all the time, but specifically, uh, as an example, he used it at the end of Ants Marching. Um, and even Dave Grohl as well, uh, when he played for Queens of the Stone Age on the song No One Knows, there's like a little drum solo he does, and he plays the herter between the snare drum and the high tom. So hopefully you might recognise um, the, 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 the lick later on as, as, uh, as part of that song. Um, so, uh, before we get into the meat and potato of the lick itself, let's look at the basic uh, pattern first. So the hurtle itself is made up of just three notes. Um, if we were to play a single stroke triplet pattern such as this, right, left, right, left, right, left, one, triplet, two, triplet, and we were to count it as one, two, three, 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 and then if we were to double up the first note uh, of each three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, we've got the basic rhythm. And uh, to make it easy, we can count it as uh, one and two, three, one and two, three, one and two, three, one and two, three, one, 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 two, three. But the, the basic rhythm itself is, is three notes, and we're just doubling up one of those notes to be twice as fast. Um, but to understand that the basic rhythm consists of three notes, uh, you could think of it as a triplet pattern, uh, and we're just doubling up one of those notes. So the next stage is to, instead of playing the, uh, the, the double note as a double as to play it as a single stroke. So we're playing the whole thing as right, left, right, left. Now this way, the, the rudiment stays on the right hand side. It stays on the right hand. Every time it gets repeated, it starts with the right hand. So now it's four notes long, four strokes long, but the basic rudiment is still going to be felt as three notes. One and two, three, one and two, three, one and two, three. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So we've got the, uh, the, the basic uh, hand pattern now, it's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And uh, before we move on to um, what you can do with this, um, I think it's just worth pointing out some of the other cool things you can do. Um, orchestration ideas, for example. So you could move the first right hand to a tom-tom. You can move the first two hands to a tom-tom. This is my favourite. You can move the um, right hand to a crash cymbal and bass drum. And um, as well as uh, 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 other orchestra orchestration ideas you might have, um, we can um, practice it as um, a drum fill. Um, so there's two different ways you could play it, as a triplet or as a 16th or 32nd note idea. So the triplet's the, the easiest one to explain first of all. Um, because it's a three note pattern, it remains on the downbeat. So you're playing it um, um, uh, as, as one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. It stays on the downbeat. One, two, three, four. So if we we're playing it with a shuffle drum beat, for example. The next way you could play it is, is a 16th note or 32nd note lick, uh, and um, that moves across the beat because 16th notes are based up uh, based of four four notes, 
and we're playing a free note pattern through those four notes. So it moves across the beat. So I find the best way to practice it is to use a, a rhythmic template. And my favorite when we're playing um, groups of three through 16th notes is this one. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So we're playing four groups of three, four herters, and then we're filling up the rest of the bar with four 16th notes, four E and a. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So it moves across the beat like that. So to play it um, um, uh, using this template, we get this. You can hear those four loud notes at the end, four E and a. We play it with the bass drum on the downbeat so you can hear how it moves across the bar. And let's play it as a drum fill now, so with a, with a groove before it. Something like that. Um, and uh, you could uh, try the orchestration ideas, um, as previously explained. Um, uh, but a, a nice little trick or tip um, that I can offer you, which I certainly use, is to remember to play an even number of times when you're playing it through 16th notes or 32nd notes. That way you always end up on the correct hand. If you play an uneven number of times, then you end up on the left hand coming out of it. So um, if you're going to use it, the little, the little herter lick as a single stroke roll, right, left, right, left, make sure you play it twice or four times or six or eight times, an even number, so you end up on the right hand um, coming out successfully. Otherwise, you just got to get used to playing coming out on the left hand. So let, let me, for example, play it um, three times, and you see that I end up on my left hand coming out on beat one. As a drum fill. That's fine if you can handle that, but if you do it an even number of times, you're always going to be okay coming out. Okay, so um, let's go on to the next stage now, um, using the double bass drum pedal. So now we're going to have a bit of fun with the double bass drum pedal and using uh, the double bass drum pedal to play the two fast notes of the herter. So I'm going to change the position of it slightly just to make it easier to practice and to easier to show you. Um, so sticking is now going to be right left on the hands and then, excuse me, we're going to play the double part on the bass drum. One, two, three, hands like that. So now the two first notes are at the end of the hurt on, on the third note. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and. So that might be a little bit tricky to practice, so I find it easier still to play both hands together. Rather than separate the hands, it makes it easy to practice. like that. So once you've got the basic pattern, you can use that as a lick, or you could play it as right left. It's harder to feel, but um, I think a little bit more satisfying gives you more power and allows you to play more orchestration ideas as you can move your hands around. So let me show you what that might sound like um, as a triplet drum fill. May have spotted there, um, I have to play three notes on the bass drum to get me back to beat one because there's a bass drum on beat one of the uh, following bar after the drum fill and the lick ends with two bass drum notes so we end up doing three to get back to beat one. Like that, one more time. Three notes at the end of diddle da, diddle da, on to beat one. Um, through a, a, a 16th note um, a pattern, you might get this. So we're ending it the same way, using the same template as before. Um, four, four hertz plus a four e ander at the end to get us out, but that four e ander can be replaced by triplets or, or any, any, any rhythm you like. It doesn't have to be four e ander, it can be anything you like at the end. So, um, the final thing I like to do with this is to move um, the hands, move the rhythm again. So now we're going to put the uh, the double bass drum part 
on the second note of the hurter, so the, the, the beat two if you like. So we're gonna play right foot, foot, left, right foot, foot, left, right foot, foot, left, right foot, foot, left, right. This is a really quirky, cool idea. I don't hear many drummers play it, um, and I, so, so I, therefore I like to play it because you don't hear it very often. Uh, and you end up with the right hand playing a nice strong downbeat on the floor tom and the snare drum playing the third note on the snare drum and that would be the upbeat of the triplet if you played it as a triplet lick. For example, you might hear it played like this. With the right hand coming out on beat one. You can put an extra bass drum there at the end. Practice it your own way, whatever you feel comfortable with. Again, you can play it double handed. Well, I actually be in the middle note now. Like that. Um, uh, but I, I certainly like to play it right foot, foot, left, like that, um, and move it around. And, and during 32nd notes, uh, 16th notes, um, you can um, uh, uh, come out of it. Um, with the same four eanda, but because the last note of the four hurters is a left hand, you end up with a four eanda, something like this. A four eanda, you end up with that left hand coming out on a, a four eanda. Um, So that's the, so just some of the uh, crazy ideas you can do with this lick. Um, it's also related to um, a lick called the Blushter, which is potentially the greatest drum lick of all time. Um, and uh, I just love this, 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 uh, this, this idea so much. Um, it's related to it in the sense that it's still a three note pattern, but instead of playing um, uh, right, left, right, left, I'd play flam and then right, right, left. So you've still got three notes, one of which is doubled up, with my right hand in this case, right, right, two notes played with the right hand, and you put a flam at the beginning. And I like to play it this way, where you play a uh, left hand flam between the high tom and snare drum, a double on the snare drum, and another double on the snare drum, uh, a single on the snare drum with the left hand at the end. So you get flam, right, right, left, flam, right, right, left, flam, right, right, left. Again, it's, it's recognised as, as like a, a variation on the herta, but it gets its own silly name called the blushter, because that's what it sounds like. It's an onomatopoeic word where it sounds like uh, it's, it's, its name is based on the sound it produces. You can say blusha, du blusha, du blusha if you like. So I might do another video at some point explaining that link, but there's plenty of others out there. If you type into um, Google or YouTube blusha, you'll find loads of lessons describing that wondrous lick. But there you go, that's, that's, that's what you can sort of do with a herter and, and sort of play around with it. Get the basic pattern going first, and then work on the orchestration ideas work on going through triplets and 16th notes with it, uh, and then um, try to involve the double bass drum pedal. You can, of course, use your single pedal, but I tend to find this lick works really well when played fast, and um, there's something uh, that the double bass drum pedal gives, uh, some real power, some real clarity to, to both bass drum notes, which you can get away with a single pedal, but so you give it as, no, as, as much punch, as much power as with a double bass drum pedal. So have fun with that. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year if I don't see you before then. Um, happy drumming, take care.